Dude's back in 60 seconds reatomized. I wanted to, I've been thinking about this game. I think about it when I was I had a dream about it. I was sli I was like I'm in bed and I'm thinking about it. I can't get it out of my head. So I'm gonna play it again. Don't worry, this won't become an every couple of day thing, but just lately, because I'm enjoying it so much. We're gonna do this. We're gonna play who do we wanna be? We're gonna be Ted again. We're gonna be Ted this time. Alright, so here's my plan. I'm gonna run to the tuba girl and grab her first. Because she digs up a lot of space in my inventory. Grab her. Come back for Dolores and... Where's Tuba Girl? There's Dolores there. Okay, there's... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Tuba Girl, you're coming with me. And go! Okay, you take up three spaces. Give me this. All right, drop you off. All right. Now, Timmy and Dolores, we need you. Okay, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy! Come on, bud! Ah, oh, crap. We, gra we don't need that. Grab this. All right, get in there. All right. Okay, Dolores, where are you? Dolores in the kitchen. That's a, this is stereotypes. Nobody likes stereotypes. Give me this. Okay, we got all the people. Now we gotta grab food and whatnot. Okay. Okay, okay, get that. All right, out. Okay, get in here, get in here. I don't like that the house is different every time. All right, okay, water. Food, okay. Um, 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 more water. And then, uh, a flashlight? Okay, I wanted the radio, I'm not gonna get it. Okay. Go, 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 go! Okay, we're gonna run back here and grab, uh, the suitcase, the suitcase! Uh, okay, 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 uh, Okay! Okay! So we didn't get a ton of good stuff. I still don't got a radio. <laughs> this, this is, this game always works this way. Oh, I got achievements, look at this. Look at this. I think I have my Steam overlay on. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Now, I turned it on so I could play uh, Human Fall Flat with books the other night. Oh, look at all the things I've got. You know what? We got a little bit of soup. We got a little bit of water. Good stuff. We got this checkerboard. We got a Boy Scout mag. Nice. Okay, let's do this. We got suitcase. Okay, what do we got? All of us made it into the shelter. Okay, we're all good. We got a lock. Our shelter used to be fully stocked, but somehow... Oh, the lock was already in here. Nice. Nobody's hungry yet, so we're fine there. All right. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. All right, next day. I think we're pretty we're pretty okay at the moment. Let's see here. Memories are not. We need to keep our heads clear and get a grip of reality. Ahead of us, Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Everybody's okay. All right, so nobody's gonna get food. I don't want to waste it until they're actually hungry and whatnot. Uh, Ted is very enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. Okay, I wonder... I wonder if I could send... Could I send somebody out early without completely killing them? All right, let's, okay. I don't know if I want to do that though. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. All right, let's do that. We'll skip at least one more day before we head out to the surface. I would like to go see if I can collect supplies early and just have them on hand. Ted's looking a little frazzled there. <laughs> Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation and a hot beverage. We don't have the ladder, but taking talking alone seems to do the trick. Where is the water? Ted needs it. She needs a drink. He needs it. Okay, here we go. So we'll just we'll thirsty everybody up. Boom. Okay. Contamination test is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. We don't have a med kit, so I don't want to do that. The boredom and silence are overwhelming. Too bad we don't have a TV to keep us occupied, but maybe we could take advantage of some of our supplies and pretend they're props in a movie set? Yes. We'll, we'll use the axe as a prop. We better not break it or something stupid. Or someone better not get like a limb cut off. Okay, everything's still okay. The axe is still here. Ted and Mary Jane used to be big cinema bus before the apocalypse. So they instantly jumped on the idea. Mary Jane always complained, singing in the rain lacks action. So they took the axe and improvised an extra scene, very bloody. They insist the movie would have been better if they had more axes in it. Nobody's thirsty. All right, excellent. Nobody's complaining about hunger. Uh, it's still irradiated. We'll wait a bit. Okay, let's see. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere. and don't seem to be very scared of us. It's time we change that. 
We don't want any spiders in our suit, no sir. All right, we'll use the Boy Scout handbook. Hopefully we don't lose it because like you lose items every so often, they get destroyed or whatever, so. All right, let's see. A good book is a solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of the world of the word decimation means. We also found a misplaced soup can while hunting these pesky spiders. That was a bountiful hunt. Ted is fine. Mary Jane seems fine. Mary Jane seems fine. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. She hopes to stay this way. Timmy's doing good. All right, so we're not going to eat or drink anything. Still irradiated. All right, we'll wait a little bit. Timmy and Mary Jane are in need of some physical exercise. Letting them run outside in the wasteland seems a bit too adventurous, but they can play tag inside the shelter. It's not like they have any expensive vases or antique dishes down here to be broken. Should we let the kids play? Yes, you should. Someone's going to get hurt. And then we're going to need like a med kit and they're going to be dying. Oh God, look at her. Mary Jane's like having problems here. We should have seen it coming. Mary Jane and Timmy ran around way too fast before we could stop them. They crashed into each other and fell to the ground, causing our supplies to fly everywhere. I'm sorry, fly in every possible direction. They don't look guilty at all. They seem more cheerful. Good for them, but now someone has to clean up this mess. Ted is really thirsty. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Dolores wants them to eat and drink. Okay, so we just got to give Dolores food and then water to everybody. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, it's still strong contamination. I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh, still don't have that radio. I never managed to get the radio. I think that's like the key or something. We just got to make it past 32 days. Everybody's looking a little frazzled here. There's soup everywhere. Okay, let's see here. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might necessarily kill us. No longer thirsty, hungry. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy's very hungry. Ted is hungry. All right. So everybody, Mary Jane, Timmy, and Ted get food. Everybody else is fine. They say the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk going out after. Okay, let's send Timmy. Someone told me I should send Timmy. Timmy! To the outside, because he's the best for it. I don't have any cards. All I have is chess. Oh, people are snoring. All right, let's see. Can we send Timmy with... You can send him with items, which I didn't know. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not going to get them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. What? Okay. Let's see here. Okay, everybody's good, but, you know, scavenging... What can you... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what, buddy? Um, take the axe. You go do that, Timmy. Nobody likes Timmy. He's all redheaded and tiny. All right, Dolores is looking a little bit, uh, a little grumpy right now. <laughs> Timmy went to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do if he doesn't come back. He took that. Ted is thirsty. Everybody's thirsty. Okay, so hopefully Timmy finds some water because we're running. Oh, God, great, great, great. Just when I get rid of my axe. We're not making it to day 32. <laughs> oh, oh, everything's going bad so far. That beast of a rodent won. It won and st oh, it stole one of our food. All right, that's fine. Dolores would like to eat something. All right, Dolores, here you go. Have some foods. Let's see, something is missing. Let's see, a fan hum, check. Strange noises in her pipes, check. Hellish yells outside, check. Oh, Dolores hadn't spoken for a while, no, that's it. It's really strange, shocking her would be a good idea. Yes, let's do that. Day 11, we're one third of the way there. This is the point where someone in the comments is like, it's not exactly one third actually. It's <laughs> Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubt she feels better now. Ted is hungry. Dolores is not. So Ted, okay, Ted has some food, bud. All right, here you go. I hope Timmy comes back because, what's this? Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why give, not give it a try? 
every now and then. Hopefully, Timmy comes back with water because that's really what we need. Oh, he's not back yet. Oh, he should be. He should be back. We side knocked out scenes from our favorite movies to amuse ourselves, at least for the moment. For some reason, every time we pick up a new scene, we end up with one from Humphrey Bogart film. Ted isn't hungry. Mary Jane needs a drink and something to eat. Oh, my goodness. Mary Jane, you eat so much, sweetie. All right, there you go. We're, we got one day left of water. Look, we still don't have a radio. I got it. I should always grab the radio, and I forgot the radio. I get it. I'm an idiot. Gabe, stop reminding me. Where's Timmy? There's one thing we need to do is use our, Oh, my God, the radio. Okay, let's see. Okay, so they, Ted and Dolores need water, so we're going to give water to Ted and Dolores. And we're, we're, we're so low on water right now. We decided to peek outside of to see if the stores around the corner are still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness. A pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We had a moment to decide what to do. I guess we're using this flashlight to shine it in the eyes like, like an 80s cop. <laughs> what happened? Okay, Timmy's never coming back. We decided to check what's coming for us. With our flash, and guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it'll come back later. Okay, nobody's having any problems. We're good there. Timmy's dead, obviously. <laughs> okay, there's noises in the wall, so we'll play some checkers to take our minds off of it. Oh, wait, oh, oh, wait a minute. Either Timmy, if somebody left, or Timmy's back. Timmy! What's up, buddy? Oh, you got some water and a med kit? Did you get a med kit? You may have got a med kit. This is good. Having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? We we're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Our expedition to be able to get to a local hospital appears that a, the blast blew up some of the upper floors, beds with patients still on them, and shreds of medical equipment were lying all over the place. However, after exploring the first floor, we concluded that the majority of the people inside evacuated the building in time. There are plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Peroxide or not, water is water, and beggars can't be choosers. It wasn't hard to find a fully equipped first aid kit. It's a hospital after all. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has asked about it all day. Dolores would love something to eat. Okay, so everybody's hungry, and Mary Jane is thirsty. So food, 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 thirst. Okay. All right. Let's, go, let's do this. Okay. Uh, she's feeling excellent. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the trials of the... We didn't expect to get a phone call, so we'll send Ted, because Ted says he's, he's feeling vigorous. And vigorous is good if you're going to go answer the phone in the apocalypse. Day 16. All right, let's see, where are we at? Oh, the lights are still flickering. When we answer the phone, we can clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller to introduce themselves. As okay, this is the nearby town people. Timmy should eat something um, and to get something to drink. Ted needs something to drink. Mary Jane needs food. Okay, so everybody but Mary Jane needs water and Mary Jane needs food. Okay, so water, 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 food. Oops. Okay, let's try that. Uh, no, what do we got here? The other day we heard a quiet knock at our door, but when we opened it, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep, and there's nowhere around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yeah, why not? Who's gonna die, baby? Oh, I got an achievement. A gift. What was it? <gasps> cards! <laughs> Play cards! Excellent. Okay. Timmy's hungry. Okay, so just Timmy's hungry. All right, so Timmy has some food, bud. All right, we're getting a little low on food. We should probably send another expedition out sometime soon. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, but we need to do something about it. Oh, God, we're going to cut it off with an axe. <laughs> I feel like... First aid's the smart way to... I feel like I want to cut his arm off. I'm going to cut his arm off. Okay. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um... I 
I feel like I want to cut his arm off. Day 18. Okay, they're, these, they're looking super frazzled, eh? All right. Timmy was very brave with the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems much better. Timmy's very hungry. Mary Jane needs water. Ted's fine. Okay. Timmy's fine, and Mary Jane needs water. All right. Wait a minute. What did it say? Timmy's hungry, and Mary Jane needs water. Okay. Food, water. I think we need to send an expedition out. I think that's just a given. All right, so... I'm going to send an expedition, but I'm also going to give this dog food this time. All right. Now, Teddy's not going to do great out there because we don't have a lot of equipment for him to take. All right, let's see here. The dog was back and informed herself in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We said the dog needed a name. Dog's name is Pancake. Timmy needs water. Ted needs water. Mary Jane's not thirsty. Dolores needs both. All right, so Ted, Timmy, both. Okay, we're running real low on everything now. All right, let's see here. All right, bud, um, I'm going to get you to bring the suitcase, but you're not going to bring any weapons with you, so you're just going to have to deal. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that means he can carry things, extra stuff, or he collects extra things. I don't know what it means. Oh, Timmy's looking better. Nice. Okay. Day 20. Ted left for the servers. We hope he'll be back soon with the suitcase. Mary Jane's dad could use a little food. All right, Mary Jane. We're running. I thought we'd have, I thought we'd have more food than this. If anyone can rescue us from this hell situation. Okay, look, I don't have the radio. The next time I play this, I'm grabbing the radio first. We're going to hunt it out and grab the radio. They always want the dang radio. Let's see here. Okay, fatigued. Water is what Mary Jane needs right now. Dolores is doing quite well. She can't find anything to complain about. Do we have any water left? Oh, we do. Okay, what was it, Mary Jane? Uh, she needs water. Okay, there you go. We're down to our last little bit of water. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there's something, something or someone, something, something or someone started a fire and it's already spreading we can't save everything what do you want to save from the flames i'm saving the the med kit i guess oh god did it take everything because if everything else is gone we're in a lot of trouble there we go let's see here that was close we're able to put out the fire and nothing seems to be damaged at least not very badly Let's just hope this doesn't happen again or we might need to call firemen. Are there even firemen left? Dolores needs a drink. Uh, okay, Dolores and Timmy both need water. He's hungry in this. Dolores, you're sorry about your luck there, sweeter. Timmy and Dolores both love to read. They also are craving some... Okay. Okay. <laughs> this side old competition you can read the scout book faster. Should we let them? Yes. Why not? You're going to wreck the book. Come on, Teddy. You got to come home, bud. Bring some water with you. All right, let's see. Like a mother, like son, you can truly see the resemblance when they're angry. Both Dolores and Timmy make the same frowny face. It's unfortunate the face... Bleh, I can't read today. It's unfortunate the face expression they're both wearing is so hilarious. The rest of us can't stop laughing, which only makes the frown even makes them frown even more. Oh my God, evermore. What the hell is wrong with me? Let's start this over. Brr. Let's hope we get out of this loop by tomorrow. Dolores will not survive with any longer without water. Timmy's no longer thirsty. Mary Jean seems fine. Hopefully it'll stay that way. We don't have any water. And we have one can of food. How about that trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while? Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Oh, she's gonna die. Teddy? 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 Oh, I got another achievement. Oh, you brought water, Teddy! Nice guy! Look at you. You look tired as heck. All right. We can make it work, even in Toronto. <laughs> Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that it was the best way to get to Europe. Is that in Europe? Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the service. Before our expedition could get anywhere, we ran a group of freaky people dressed as wizards. 
They were eager to trade some of their surprise for a few items. It sounded like a fair trade, so we invited them in. They're really ecstatic about purchasing a pair of old socks, which have been lying in the corner for some time now living there on their own. The wizards got them in exchange for a few bottles of water. One of them placed the socks on her ears and started to dance. They had some food with them that we actually bought with real pre-apocalypse money. They thought the coins we gave them were magical. We didn't argue. They really wanted to sell us the radio. They claimed it was an evil whispers about a return of the Dark Lord. We gave them a bottle cap. I got a radio too? Maybe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Dolores will not survive without water, and she needs to eat. Okay. Ted's hungry. Mary Jane's thirsty. Okay. Dolores is thirsty. Ted is hungry. Okay, let's see here. Oh, she also needs... Dolores also needs food. All right. This should, this should do us... All right. Okay, let's see. Pancake came back to say very agitated about something. He really wants us to get out and follow him somewhere in the neighborhood. This seems a bit risky, but maybe Pancake is on the trail of something big. What gear should we take? I we're not we're not going. We don't have any gear. We have no gear to spare. Day twenty five. Okay, poor Pancake. Pancake wasn't happy about staying put. Eventually, he left and didn't come back. We'll miss Pancake. And not just because his name gives us fond memories of food other than soup. Pancakes. Mmm. Ted is hungry. And he needs a drink. Mary Jane needs a drink and is hungry. So Ted? Mary Jane? What else are they saying here? Dolores is no longer... We can't leave Timmy without water. Alright, so we give Timmy some water. Alright, let's see here. Oh, Timmy's got a real fro going on. <laughs> okay, let's see. We found an unsigned letter today. The stranger asked for our help. Apparently, there are a few survivors in grave need of supplies, and we have a chance to help them. The saying, we won't regret it, and we should make several people very, very happy. Should we do it? Yeah, let's give them some soup. Why not? We're not going to make it much longer anyway looking at us. Day 26. All right, let's see what we screwed up here. We arrived at the location of people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They're taking care of a group of survivors, mostly children, elderly, and injured people who can't scavenge themselves. They told us that they're searching for the town for any and all good and decent people in hopes of maybe uniting their strength and making everyone feel safer and cared for. They thanked us and promised to stay in touch. How nice. Ted is hungry. Okay, nobody else. Uh, okay, Ted's hungry. That's it. All right. We're, this is all, oh, no, we don't want to do that. Um... Just Ted. All right. I think we got to go back out. I think uh, we have to go back out. Ted likes to... Okay. Timmy, you're, you're going... Timmy's going out. All right. Okay, we don't have... We don't have the food. We should... We, we don't have the soup to make that deal. We don't have it. Day 27. Let's see here. Okay. Dolores is thirsty and Timmy needs to eat. Let's see here. Okay. Timmy's going to go outside. We're going to give him that suitcase. And we're going to get... I know he's... I know he's... Uh, was it Dolores who was thirsty? Yeah, okay. So there we go. We're going to head out. Timmy's going to go with the suitcase out into the wilds. With his, with his half row because he'll scare all the children and they'll leave him alone. Four days. We got to make it four more days. We're totally out of food. Okay. Timmy went to the wasteland. Where's the water? Ted needs it. Mary Jane needs it. All right. Ted needs it. Mary Jane needs it. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. We're going to use the radio for the first time ever. Day 29. Maybe we heard some like pop music. What, look at this. Aw. Okay, what do we got? We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in the radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they'll be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait further instructions. Dolores has not eaten in a while. Ted isn't. Okay, so Dolores and Mary Jane need food. 
Dolores, Mary Jane. Okay, that's all our food. That's all our What is this? Yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti disestablishmentitarianism <laughs> It has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home, or rather shelter schooling, Mary Jane a little. Yeah, why? Oh, I feel like it's going to make her angry, maybe. Now, you know what? It's okay you don't know what it means. <laughs> you know what? Just because you don't know a word doesn't make you an idiot. Just makes you a fool. Learn your words. Come on, Ted. You're looking a little rough there, buddy. Oh, you're covered in blood or soup. Did they fight or something? Was that what it was? Mary Jane made a real scene complaining about Dolores would never be happy even if both her children became president, won Nobel Prizes, and simultaneously became the first people on the moon. Dolores begs to differ. She says she'd be at least a little content in this scenario. <laughs> there isn't enough food to go around. Even Ted has nothing to eat. Mary Jane is longer hungry. Okay, Dolores needs water, but there's there's nothing to eat. So we're going to have to give Dolores water. We're going to have to deal with this. Oh, they want a gun? Or a gas mask? Yeah, you know what? I have checkers. I'm going to trade that for a gun because maybe I can trade the gun later. I haven't found a use for the gun yet, but we'll see. Day 31. Okay, well, all we gotta do is make it through tomorrow and we'll be fine. The girls are very kind and their prices were more than fair. We gladly accept their offer. How very clever of them to keep their business alive after the apocalypse. We're impressed. There's enough food to go around. Even Ted has nothing to eat. All Ted wish for a few drops of water. Ted and Mary Jane need water. So we can do that, but we can't do food. There's nothing more annoying than silence. That's all we're getting for radio. Music, no talking, nothing. Is there anything we could do with the radio to make it work again? I'm sure no staring at it won't help. <laughs> yeah. Okay, day 32? <laughs> oh, I just got to have at least one person survive past today. That's it. Nice. Okay. Well, we did it. Oh, sorry. We did what we could. We still can't hear a thing. Damn it. There's enough food to go around. Even Ted is not needed. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Mary Jane is longer thirsty. Dolores is starving. Well, we're out of food. Last time we went out on expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there in the open. It looks damaged, but it may contain useful supplies. We're going to send Teddy because they're all going to die of starvation anyway. Oh, unless Timmy comes home with food. What happened? All I could find inside was... Okay, we got ammo. <laughs> There's enough food to go around. Oh my god. Why Why isn't dude back? Claustrophobia is difficult to fight against, especially a little cluttered bunker. Maybe if we open up the door for just a few minutes and let in some air. You know what? We're screwed anyway. Why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, please don't everybody be dead. I'm pretty sure Ted's dead at this point. Oh god. Yeah, we're, we're so screwed. Open the door, letting contaminated air was a great idea. Now instead of phobias, we need to deal with vomiting. Those we've been putting on a, We don't have anything. We're going to give him that, and everybody's going to die. Dolores really has been angry about the door incident for a few days. She just doesn't want to let it go. She seems very hostile. We need to have an intervention. Okay, you know what? Everybody's going to die this turn anyway because, because they're all out of food for four days, and Timmy took too long. And Timmy brought back no food. But everybody can have a drink. There you go. Timmy's sick. And we're out of food. We're screwed. Okay, well, this doesn't matter. Bloodthirsty Raiders. They're going to come in and steal all our shit. Stop knocking at my door! <laughs> Let's see. It's unfortunate, but we don't have any tools. We can't chop wood. The bare hands, everybody's looking weak. We don't have any options. Okay, well, we're gonna give him this. Okay. Ugh. All right, everybody dies now because we haven't had food in so long. But we did make it to day 37, which nobody's dead yet? What the heck? Everybody should be dead. The stranger quickly became friend became a friend when we agreed to his terms. Doesn't cost that much. It will be easier knowing that we came back safely. Blah blah blah. Ted looks weak. Okay, everybody's just dying. Have some, everybody have some water. You know what? Everybody just have water. Let's just 
Timmy's been talking about going out in the service to explore, run, dance, and play in whatever burnt remains he can find. We would gladly jump at a chance to get him some fresh air, though we are worried the explosion reactivity out there. Effectively, you know what? Everybody's gonna starve to death. Go play outside. Everybody's dead. How are they living this long without food? When we consider Timmy almost hit his head on the ceiling, we figured that if he doesn't encounter any savages, mutant beasts, or killer mimes, he should be fine and back soon enough. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Everybody's weak and dying. And yeah, we're out of everything. So, another broadcast from the military said they need to locate the general area we're in and that they want us to leave specific markings close by. All right. Everybody's dead anyway. Come on, baby. Day 39. And there goes Ted. Ted died. <laughs> the cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for an army to pinpoint our location. This shouldn't take long, we hope. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Mary Jane is starving. She's tired. She keeps fainting. Dolores doesn't have any strength. Uh, Teddy died. Everybody needs food and water. We have none of it. It's over for all of us. Let's listen to the radio as we fade into it from existence. The end. Everybody starved to death. Okay, that's uh, nope. They died. We able to tune in. Okay, this is it's all over. It, it's all over. Dolores barely faced hunger, however, eating is a habit that's shake off. All right, our advice down here reads this. We made it to day 40, though. That's you know, eight days better than last time. Got some of these uh these things we're supposed to do. Good times. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay. Let's see here. That's that. That's that. That. And this. All right. <laughs> you perish. Let's see our stats. Come on, statistics. We survived 40 days, consumed 10 water, 6 soups, successful expeditions 3 of 3, items bought from expeditions brought from expeditions, sorry, 12, one no decision, 8 yes decisions. So you know what? That went better. We're getting better. My goal is 50 days. When I hit 50 days, I'll stop playing it. But either way, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe you're in an apocalypse and need some entertainment. And here you go. It's right here in front of you. Hit the little bell because that'll warn you when the bombs are going to fall. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. This is really